what's going on welcome back to my channel today we are doing a little diy scenario a diy board game we are going to be making our own diy guess who game i'm going to show you guys how to step by step make your own guess who board game today it's super easy but we will be using an actual guess who game i know there's some tutorials on youtube right now where they make it from absolute scratch like you don't use a game at all but today we're going to be using a guess who game they're actually really cheap if you don't have one hidden away dark in your little basement i bought this one on amazon for $13.99 so it's a really good gift if you want to give something a little bit more personable to somebody any you know diy birthday situation this is a really good idea before we get into this video i would like to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel of course because i put out videos every single thursday for you guys that i really hope you like hit subscribe trust me you won't regret it so let's get right into the video. I'm filming this intro after I've already made the board game. So I'm kind of showing you what it looks like when it's all finished. Basically you have two player boards here. This is player one, and then this is going to be player two. First of all, you need to think of 24 friends. This was a little bit hard for me, you know, but if you and your best friend like work together, or if there's a lot of people that are acquaintances that you both know of, I'm not gonna lie to you, putting the more problematic and drama ridden people inside your board game is a lot more fun because like when you're playing the guess who game it's not really like oh like does your person have blonde hair it's like has your person been canceled in the past have you slept with your person you know what i mean so it's a little bit more like a little bit more fun a little bit more interesting than the classic guess who so you're gonna need 24 friends i know it's a little tricky sometimes tricky for me anyway and then you're gonna need two sets of photos of each of them so get your 24 friends screenshot their instagram photos do whatever you need to do and put them in a word doc and print them out twice because you have two players you're gonna need a third set of the photos for the game cards these ones you're gonna want to make a little bit bigger you just need one set of the big friends i don't know if you guys have ever played guess who but like each person secretly picks a card and then you each have to guess who the other person has by guessing questions about the person okay a super easy way to do it is just by gluing photos of your friends onto the cards that already exist but i don't know i feel like at some point we're gonna get bored of like our own friends and we're gonna want to play with like joe and amy and gabe you know so i wanted to keep these for myself you can use those if you want but i don't also i would recommend using cardstock like cute cardstock if you know what i mean because like you can use construction paper or whatever but if you look like you can see the backs of all the cards so just pick something that's like thick situation and then it's cute because you can see it back it's really good i don't want to show you the front because i don't want to expose <sighs> probably gonna expose my friends the video later anyway but like it's pretty cool it's it's a good game it's a good time all right so let's get into the step by step let's go okay so for some tools you're going to need you're going to need one of these as we're going to be using the real board in this version you can buy them on amazon this one was 13 dollars, brand new next we're going to need some cardstock or some nice paper that's just a little bit more thick i got this at michael's you can use construction paper if you want but cardstock is a little bit more sturdy and you can get them in super cute colors or different prints this is what the color is going to be on the back of each each guess who tab so you want to pick something that you kind of like and you want to pick two different ones is there's a blue board and there's a red board i'm using this for one board i use a second type of paper for the player two game board as you can see when all the tabs are down this is the type i used a polka dot paper for this one then you're going to need a third type for your player cards so i just use this type of paper i was going with a black and white theme for tools you're going to need some scissors you're going to need a glue stick and you are also going to need some tweezers this is optional it just helps with putting the names of the players on the guess who tabs just because it's kind of finicky to use your fingers next what you're going to do is open a word document and find pictures of your friends that you would like to use you have 24 spaces to fill up on the board so just find people in your life that are you know relevant to you and the person that you're giving the game to it could be exes it could be friends family you are also going to need a color printer you can do it in black and white if you like so i just went to their instagrams and and screenshotted some of their photos so these ones i just made sure that they were the same height as you can see this is the whole page and it doesn't really matter how big you make them as long as they're all the same height it's as long as my finger pretty much and then you can just trim them so they're all the same width and for the small ones i already started cutting out some of the pages they were this big so they all fit on one page that's kind of how i measured it and they were just in rows like this i just made them all the same height yet again i 
I can cut them to the width later. It's always easier to have them a little bit bigger and then you can cut them down because not every single photo is the same height and width. Things inside the game are actually squares. For example, this one is a square, so it's really easy to fit in, but you might have some of them that are a little bit thinner. You might have some space on the sides, but that's totally fine. So I also printed out some names of everybody. This is the smallest font that I have. I think it's in like 14. And these ones are, I'm gonna stick actually on the photo. Sometimes it's really small to actually see like the person. So I have the name of the person as well. On the larger like player cards, these, I was gonna put the name on them, but then I realized that it's actually, you can see the person perfectly fine. So you can put the name on the player cards if you want, but I decided not to. So then what you're gonna wanna do is print your document twice. So you'll have two sets of the player images and then one set of the player card images. And then obviously if you wanna put the names on them, you'll need to print those twice as well. So the next step is to glue them onto the cardstock. So just to save time, I got my piece of cardstock flipped it over and I just glued the entire sheet onto the cardstock and then I put it under a book for a day just to like make sure it dried flat so they look like that on the back. I cut out all of the player cards. It's good that we made them the same height and they all look the same on the back so you don't know which card is which. And then on the front it's good because I decided not to put the names on because the cards are big enough that you can see who it is. So those ones are good to go. Cutting out all of the squares and they should be pretty, you know, solid because we're going to be bending them into the guess who thingies. And what I found that it was actually easier to glue the names on after you put the tabs in so you can see how much of the photo actually shows. The spots that all of your guess who people are in need to be different on this board than this board. So there's no like cheating. You don't know what the situation is, right? This is how you put the pieces in. All right. So you basically you have your photo of your friend and you want to put it over top of the middle piece and then push it behind the bottom like that and it just snaps right in so the plastic should come over the bottom of the photo the photo goes in front of this middle bar and then as you can see in the back it's perfectly in there safe and sound good to go so that's what i'm going to do with all of the board and then i'm going to come back and show you how i stuck the names on <laughs> and then you are all good to go. Sometimes if they're a little bit long, the photo will like stick out and it'll be really tight. So if they're too long, you can just chop off the top a little bit. They'll be hard to put in if they're too long. So you'll know right away. And then your board looks like this when it's all finished and it is super cute and good to go. So now we have this board done and we have this board done as well. And then I'm just gonna show you how I stuck the names onto the board. Look how cute. All right, so once you've cut out all the names of your friends, now we're gonna glue them onto the Guess Who game. So this is where your tweezers come in. Grab your glue stick, disgusting you. You're gonna grab the name of your person. I glued it in like the bottom left corner there. I think it's probably the easiest, but you can use your fingers for this. The tweezers are more just to like straighten it out. And then you just kind of straighten it out. Push it down and you are good to go. So once you do that with all of your pieces, you will have a finished board. Look how cute, our little black and white guess who game with our cards, player one, player two. So yeah, there is your finished game. We have player two over there. We have, you know, all of the players that you know. We have your card of the person you're trying to guess. And yeah, there you have it. You're good to go with your very own DIY guess who board game. I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I really hope that you guys make a guess who game for your own friend group. This is honestly really fun, especially once you start, you know, drinking a little bit, having a little bit of fun. It's always good to have a little drama in your friend group. I mean, what friend group doesn't have drama? So you might as well put it out there for everyone to see. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I really hope you make a guess who game for your friends or your boyfriend, your family, whatever, because it's actually really fun to play and it brings back, you know, some nostalgia of our childhood so if you guys like this video please subscribe to my channel because i put out videos every single thursday for you to watch okay well thank you very much guys i hope you have a happy holiday bye see you next week